Before you, the Lord of the universe will worship your majesty. The sovereign God, the one that cannot be queried. Oh, we worship your name. You are the greatest. You are the mightiest. You are the holiest. Oh God, you are the strongest. No one can be compared to you. Oh, we say thank you. We worship your name. What a great God. What a mighty God. We well, thank you for everyone who are connected this morning. Those who are here in the house and those who are watching online. Lord, in any of our social media handle, we say thank you. To you be glory and honor and praise. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, joy unspeakable belongs to the order of divinity. And we ask you this particular morning, we ask you this particular day, that which is infringing our joy, we ask that you will take it away in the name of Jesus. The God of joy, the God who is available. The God who can do exceeding abundantly, far above. This particular day, visit everyone connected and those who will be watching later by your joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Every force that have determined that we that 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 they, we will be in sorrow, every force that have pledged that will never live in joy today deal with that, that particular force in the name of Jesus Christ and everyone here today that which will give you full and maximum joy receive it in the name of Jesus anything they call impossibility anything they call crisis that thing they call I mean, but you, we declare that this particular day, God will enter you into the hall of victory. Whatever is your request this morning, whatever is your request this day, the God of heaven who has all ability to do exceeding abundantly, may he answer you. May he answer you. May he answer you. May he answer you. And Father Almighty, the few things we need to say in your word, let it bring blessing to your people. Let it bring blessing to all of us. Holy Spirit, just take over and get the glory in the name of Jesus. Everyone here today and those who are watching afar off, and they have been looking for something from the Lord that will give them testimony, that will make them signs and wonders. Today, we never close without getting their own in the name of Jesus. And when this is done, let us continually give you praise. We worship your name, Lord. I surrender my head, my heart, and my mouth to you and everyone connected. The Lord, you will visit all of us together in the name of Jesus. Thank you. We love you for doing it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let someone say, Amen. Let the people of God say, Amen. Wave at your neighbor and tell them, God will give you unspeakable joy. And the Almighty God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Please always say a echo, Amen. First Peter 1, 3 to 8. First Peter 1, 3 to 8. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible undefiled and faded not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time where ye greatly rejoice though not for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith be much more precious than gold that perish it though it be tried with, with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ whom having not seen ye love in whom though now ye see him not yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable full of glory the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in Jesus name joy unspeakable I want to admonish you this morning on that title joy unspeakable joy is the word that brings laughter joy is the word that brings great pleasure joy is the word that brings delight and if you want euphoria and this joy is not based on the happiness around you but it is the full package of the Holy Spirit to those who belong to him joy is not a function of the present or the experience of the moment it is a fruit of the spirit joy unspeakable is the joy inexpressible joy unspeakable is beyond description joy unspeakable is i mean no one has the capacity to explain or to express it in words joy unspeakable indicates great joy and God almighty as a father of everyone that is born again and as a father the head of the family want everyone that belongs to his family to enjoy it when you belong to royalty there are certain privileges that you enjoy and one of the great things you have with salvation is the joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. God desires us to experience it continuously. Happiness and joy are not interchangeable words because it is possible to lose happiness for a time but never you can never lose your joy if you truly belong to God. In Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10, Nehemiah 8 10, Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drink and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is my strength and I pray for someone today the joy of the Lord will be your strength in the name of Jesus there is a strength that come from the joy of the Lord everyone get down from time to time from time to time certain situations look hopeless you look around and you don't see any hope at the end of the tunnel but here was what David, the great psalmist said, weeping may endure for the night and I had one of the
the speaker during the week say weeping is not supposed to be a continuous one it must only last for one night because joy must follow and I know joy will follow your life so don't allow yourself to be wallowing in self pity you are not an object of pity you are an object of celebrity I don't know whether that English is correct but you are an object to be celebrated you are a celebrity sometimes we need to steal out the gift that is in us Jesus was talking to his disciple in John chapter 15 verse 10 to 12 John 15 10 to 12 he said if you obey my commandment and you will remain in my love just as I've obeyed my father my father's command he said and, uh, and remain in his love I've told you that this joy will abide in you that's where I'm going that the joy we are binding you. Joy is made full when you obey the Lord's command. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 15 to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 15 to 18. Now, let's, let's read different version of the Bible. He said, make sure that nobody pays back wrong for, for wrong. But always try to be kind to each other's and everyone else be joyful always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus you may be thinking pastor you don't know what I'm going through I don't know what you are going through but the old men I science know what you are going through you don't have the type of in-law that I have you don't know my husband. You don't know my wife. You don't know that boss that is in my place of work. You, you don't even know my financial crisis. I came to announce to you today joy unspeakable will bring your miracle out in the name of Jesus. We have read to us in that book of Peter and generally in the on the new testament there are three unspeakable things that the bible mentioned the word of god mentions the word unspeakable three times in second corinthians chapter 9 verse 15 second corinthians chapter 9 verse 15 he said thanks be to god for his unspeakable gift the unspeakable gift of God is Jesus. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4, he said how that he was caught up into paradise and had unspeakable word, which is not lawful for a man to utter. An unspeakable word are too sacred to divulge. Now, and in number three is First Peter one eight, where we read to us. First Peter one eight, he said, "Whom having not seen, ye love; in whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with unspeakable glory, unspeakable joy." full of glory our unspeakable joy is full of glory there is no word that can describe it when you take that word joy you have Jesus others and yourself so as you follow that order joy come why joy unspeakable i will mention five things i mentioned a few other things why joy unspeakable because bishop peter or saint peter or brother peter or pastor peter or reverend peter said ye rejoice
eyes with unspeakable, with joy unspeakable, full of glory. What an incredible statement. Believers never seen Jesus. And yet we love him. And yet he loved us. And we rejoice in Christ with indescribable joy. Why this? Number one, your joy is rooted in the love for us and not in our circumstances. Your joy is rooted in God and is rooted in God's love not in our circumstances. Circumstance or circumstances will come and go. Whom ye have not seen, ye love. Now we know that we love him because he first loved us. First John 4 19. First John 4 19. What a greater joy is there than this to know that somebody may not love you, somebody may speak ill of you. The situation around may be hazardous. There may be hostility around you. But what a joy to know. What a joy to know that you are loved by the creator of the heaven and the earth. What a joy to know. What a pleasant joy to know that in spite of criticism instead of being beaten and battered that someone smiling you are mine I love you woman may like to hear that look at it in Romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39 Romans chapter 8 38 to 39 for I am persuaded that neither dead nor lie nor angels nor principality nor power nor things present nor things to come neither height nor death nor any other creature shall be able to separate John C. all that the other shall have from the law of God which is in Christ Jesus whatever you are going through this day Whatever situation you, are, you find yourself in this day, hear this. That you are a love project. And so you can rejoice. You can say to the devil, na 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 na, he's a winner all the time. Number two, why? Your joy is in the faith of better things to come, not on what you see now. Your joy is in the faith of better things to come. Better things to come. Not in what you see now. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. If you are sleeping, shout hallelujah. <laughs> I thought you would get that. Okay, if you are awake, shout hallelujah. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, faith is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. My enemy, don't write me off. If I fall, I will rise again. If I sit in the shadow of darkness, the Lord will be my light. Don't use my circumstances as of now to judge me. I am not dead yet. Only those who are dead you bury. Don't bury the promises of God in my life. I'm still alive. And I pray everyone who have lost hope, I connect heaven on your behalf this morning. And I say the God of multiple joy 
shall turn the situation around and you have joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus. Joy of a better thing to come. You didn't see him but you love him. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12 put it on the board let everybody see what God has cared for them for the which cause I also suffer this thing nevertheless I am not ashamed I know who I have believed and I am persuaded I am convinced so assured is able to keep that which is committed which I have committed unto him against that day in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 19 hear this Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 19 Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the store. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like a hind feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places. What else do you want? What how much loaded promises God has given to you to assure you that your labor and coming to the church is not in vain. To let you know that your service to him your giving to him, your evangelism, your prayer, your singing, your keeping the house of God is not in shame. It's not in vain. Number three, this joy knows, I mean, Christian joy knows that it causes all things to work together for good. This joy, unspeakable, make you to know that all things, not sweet things, not bad things, the configuration of all things, the combination of all things, the combination of all the ingredients, they work for good. The brother of Joseph in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, put it for us on the board. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. What did they say? Look at it. But as for you, you thought it evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring it to pass as it is today to save the people alive. Does it not look like Romans chapter 2, Romans chapter 8, verse 28? Romans 8:28. He said, I know, put it, I will know. Once you know, you know in the spirit of your Noah. I don't know whether that, uh, that is grammatically sound, but he said, but I know. You know, that is, you cannot be confused. You cannot be confused. He said, I will know. Do you know that your trial, your tribulation, that castigation, do you know that hatred, ostracizing, ostracizement, do you know that particular issues, that mockery, all things work together. I pray today Everyone listen to me under the sound of my voice. I prophesy whatever situation and all situation around you that you thought has not been working well will work for you in the name of Jesus. I know. 
We know. It's not based on the present circumstances. Number four, this unspeakable, unspeakable joy may not be understood by natural means. It may not be understood by natural means. Why is he smiling now? The man is jobless. He's still happy. They don't understand. The man is fasting. He hasn't eaten. He's still happy. Why is it? He was cheated. He's still happy. Why is it now? The business is going down. He's still happy. Why? Nobody wants to see him around. He's still happy. It is not understood by natural means. With joy unspeakable. That makes you think. Give me Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. Can I see it? And the peace of God. That passage. All understanding. So the joy we are talking about. Is indescribable. Is beyond. What is natural. The natural man rejoices. When they have food to eat. But Christians know more than that. We know more than food. We reason beyond that. Some people, when something happened, where I came from, my interpreter is here. Some people say, Mobile. But for Christian, when this happened, we say, Praise the Lord. Some people look at it. Why is he praising the Lord now? But for somebody who is not a Christian, say, Hey, I die. A war. But the Bible says joy unspeakable. Because joy unspeakable, we are talking about is from the love eternal. And love eternal is a changeless entity. And that's the true Christian joy. Everyone who has sorrow deep seated, whatever may be the situation, I don't care to know but the all-knowing God, Omni science, no. Whatever is the source and object of your sorrow, God of heaven will remove it today in the name of Jesus. Joy. Number five. That joy of speakable is real joy. Full of glory. Real joy. Full of glory. So, in other words, joy isn't, is, it isn't anything that is faked. No, you can't fake it. It's not a shallow thing. The joy we have is a real joy. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. My Father and the Lord, I was listening to him. Uh, on the, on the uh, Redeemers Network just three days ago and that a professor who have just given his life to Jesus Christ came to him and said Sir, I hope I am not becoming I hope my brain is not becoming cranky because since the last since the time you prayed to me I gave my life I have been having joy I hope nothing is wrong with me and that the Jesus said no Good things is right with you. That's the joy of the Holy Spirit. It's only now people are born again and every time you see them frowning. Hello, brother. Hallelujah. Hello, sister. Okay. But the joy of the Holy Spirit is beyond description. It is a product of love. It is the fruit of the Spirit. 
it is a product of an experience with the glory of God. It is a full experience of God's presence. In Psalm 16, 11, one of our verses few days ago in the uh, open table, thou will show me the path of life in thy presence is the fullness of joy. That joy is found in God. John 5 11 said that joy is found in God. It is the essence of God himself. It is the full experience of the kingdom of God. In Romans chapter 14 verse 17 Romans chapter 14 verse 17 he said, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but in righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Let me start capping it up. Because I know so that we can get ourselves prepared for the second service. Somebody may ask, can you give us a booster for this unspeakable joy you are talking about? What are the boosters for this unspeakable joy? Maybe I mentioned three things. Number one, laugh at yourself. <laughs> you laugh. Some of us who have big teeth, wide mouth, we find it very, very expressible. You lose your joy when you are self centered you lose your joy when when you take yourself serious Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30 Proverbs 15 30 let me see what it says Proverbs 15 30 give me that Proverbs 15 30 the light of the eyes rejoices the heart the light of the eyes rejoices the heart and the good report make the bone fat Give me Proverbs chapter 15. Let me see verse 13. Proverbs 15, 13. Yeah. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the earth, the spirit is broken. A happy look make a joyful heart. I mean, a happy look makes the heart joyful. A joyful heart makes the face happy. Sir, ma, what you need to tone your face is joy. And when you have joy, you look younger and younger till you get to the grave. You look stronger. When I see that, did you I say, ah, ah, what is the secret? Eh? About to hit 79. <laughs> and there are many, not in this house, not where you are hearing. They are just 52. They look like 95. They act like 95. They talk like 95. We are. We are old. That's why I like Elder Nat Okoro. That man, we turned 70 this, I mean, we turned 90 this month. But when you see Baba, every time he welcome you, smiling. But you, Nobody have ever seen your smile. Even when you smile, people know you very. <laughs> Take your medicine and get those dry bones lubricated once again. 
and the medicine for the bone is cheerfulness, laughter. Laugh at your stupidity. Many a time. Laugh at your success. When you miss it, you tell yourself, John say, how can you how can you talk to Rachel like that? How do you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Why can I be miserly to God? <laughs> you laugh, it lubricates your bones. Take your drug. It's the daily mercy. You need it. Number two. Look for the feast. What did I mean? Look for the feast. My father in the Lord said, If you are not fasting, you feast. Look for a feast. I have mentioned in this house. There are people who don't attend celebration. It is not godly. You are not as holy as Jesus. Why am I facing the choir today? Maybe because you didn't give me my own cloth. Okay, let me face my word. <laughs> now, uh, what we are saying, there are people who doesn't go to celebration. Me, I don't go to celebration. Me, 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 no, you don't. I will use that for prayer. I will use that for prayer. Even the master the first miracle he performed in John chapter 2, 1 to 11. John chapter 2, 1 to 11 was in a marriage ceremony. Please, just look at your neighbor. When last have you attended marriage ceremony in this house? Talk, just, talk over, just talk over the gap. When last have you attended marriage ceremony in this house? You don't have time. Walk, walk, walk. As if you have come to the earth to walk alone. Give me Proverbs chapter 15, verse 15. Proverbs 15, 15. Proverbs 15, 15. Proverbs 15, 15. Proverbs 15, 15. Give it to me. Where is it? All the days of the afflicted. What is it? All the days of the afflicted are evil. But he that is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Even in your house, when you eat, you eat and you frown. Your wife is talking to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All the days of your prayers are wretched. But a cheerful heart has a continuous feast. Look at it. In Psalm 23, verse 5 to 6, Psalm 23, 5 to 6, look at what David, thou preparest a table before me in the presence. Presence of my enemy, thou anointed my head with toil. My hope run it over. Give me that verse so that we cap it up. Look at it. Surely. So there is nothing. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me forever. God doesn't have a date that you should be moody. In the midst of toughest days, God is, pre is preparing some special things for you. You must be assured that they love you. You just have to tune in and watch for what he has done. Lastly, so that I can cap it up, cast your cares. Cast your cares. Three things I've mentioned. Cast your cares. You are carrying unnecessary body. You are carrying unnecessary body. Psalm 55 verse 22. 
Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast your care on the Lord And he will sustain you He will never let the righteous fall He will not allow the righteous to be moved In 1 Peter 5 6 to 7 1 Peter 5 6 to 7 He talks about Casting your cares in Luke chapter 2, 10 to 11. Luke chapter 2, 10 to 11. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And I declare what the angel said to Mary, to you today. Fear not, because a good miracle, signs and wonder, possibility is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me conclude. And I will pray. When you have faith in Jesus, when you truly love him, When you surrender your life to him and you cast your body into his life. When you allow him to be the ruler and to be the king. When you make him the director of your home and your affairs. When you let him handle what you cannot handle. When you can say like Esther if I perish I perish when you can say like three Hebrews king we are not afraid to talk to you this way our God will deliver us even if he failed to deliver us we will still go to fire if you can say like Job, though he slayed me, yet I will keep trusting in him because I know my Redeemer lives. Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 11, 28, 29, 30. Matthew 11, 28, 29, 30. Bring your body. Come unto me. I've come to announce to you today you can have joy unspeakable. Full of glory. Not as a result of happiness. Happiness is circumstantial. But deep seated inside of you. So that you will be glad. I was glad when they said to me let us go into the house of the Lord. Let God carry your body. And if you are here today, you are listening to me in any of our social media handles, you have not been born again, please give God a chance. That joy must come to your heart. Rise up, let us pray. Lord, fill me with your joy unspeakable. I refuse to be stranded. I refuse to live in sorrow. I am not caught up in sorrow. Jesus carried away my sorrow. I am to live in the joy of God. Lord, I release my life to you. Two minute prayer, please. Do it. And if you want to watch me, that's okay. Or if you want to watch God, that's okay. If you want to focus on him, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, is okay. The joy of the Lord is what I, I am looking for. The joy of the Lord, let it be my strength. I receive joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. A joy unspeakable. You have one more minute to pray. Oh Lord, I receive joy into my life, to my family, into this house, for everyone watching afar. Lord, that woman, that man, that boy, that girl, that auntie, that, that uncle, who his head had been bowed, her head had been bowed in sorrow. I pray that today, the word of God 
we find them where they are. Oh God of heaven, the mighty hand of God, we hold them all. In the name of Jesus, that every deep seated soul shall be terminated. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you are there, you want to give your life to Jesus, or you want to reconnect to him, the source of joy. Raise up your hand wherever you are. I want to pray with you. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice as I lifted up my right hand. Everyone who is in sorrow, going through trial, traveling, going through temptation, going through persecution, going through hostility, going through all kind of evil conspiracy. I pray today that joy of the Lord that God promised, joy unspeakable, will be yours in the name of Jesus. The object of your sorrow will be will be totally dealt with by the blood of Jesus. I pray that today everyone say amen. In the house, say amen. Where they are watching, say amen. As they watch the television or listen to radio, let the joy of unspeakable be their portion in the name of Jesus. And let that joy bring healing, bring progress, bring prosperity, bring power, bring anointing in the name of Jesus. And I pray that when all is said and done, we will make it together. This week will be a week of blessing for you. A week of progress. Joy. And when we finish our race, we all make it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let someone say amen. Let someone say amen.